are literally infinite right now. I am so infinitely infinite, so infinite. I am an impervious man. Nothing can stop my pursuit in life for what I desire. I am completely bulletproof from all negativity and adversity. I am always on a linear path to accomplishing my goals. Nothing can phase my drive for my desires in life. I am such a well-respected man. I am the leader of thousands of hot dev developers across the globe. People look up to me as their ultimate leader. I live my life in peace and without stress. I am unconsciously competent at whatever I do. No one can compete with me in being me. I love myself infinitely above all people. I infinitely and effortlessly love myself. I am literally infinite right now. I am a multi-millionaire. I make multiple millions of dollars every single year. I make one million dollars off of developer direction. My community of developers is apex among anything else. I am a bulletproof asset. I am literally an irrefutable and extremely valuable man. I can't help but acquire 100 Bitcoin. All the Bitcoin just naturally gravitates towards my wallet. I just have millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin. I own a techno silent yacht that I can go anywhere in the world in. I can work anywhere I desire and visit any place on the entire planet. No one controls who and what I am. Fuck anyone who believes they have any control over me. I am THE sovereign individual. I am a burly and hunky masculine man. I am always in shape no matter how I feel. My body is a well-oiled and destruction capable machine. My health is completely perfect. My joints, organs, and bones are superiorly healthy. My body just works so well. I just can't help but be this burly and durable healthy man. My brain is hyper efficient. I can literally accomplish 24 hours of normie work in one hour. I just always know the answers to my problems. I have superior IQ and intelligence. I can't help but be the apex man in every aspect of my life. I have a master understanding of female nature. Women are predictable to me. I am always 10 moves ahead of them. I can't help but always know what women desire. I am just unconsciously competent with all women. I sexually pleasure women better than anyone. I leave women in a pile of their own juices, shaking every time I smash. I just know how to smash. I literally alpha widow every girl I smash. Women can't help but desire to serve me every single day. They yearn to physically and sexually satisfy me whenever possible. Women desire my existence with every single atom of their human flesh. They need me so bad. I just can't help but always get it. I just get it. Oh, boom. Thank you. Thank you, X City Roland. Boom. Welcome to the Project Freedom Podcast. Looks like I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. Did you guys like that mind movie? How'd you guys feel about that? I was. Am I still muted? Patricia, don't. Patricia, don't lie to me, bro. Don't lie to me. Looks like it's working on my end. I had to play that for you guys as opposed to the normal intro because uh, I don't know. I'm just listening to it like eight, nine, ten times a day. 
I actually didn't mean to show that as a plug. Uh, I legitimately did just want to play that instead of the light intro. But if you guys do, if you guys do like my movies, you want something similar to that. If you want a movie to brainwash yourself with, futureyou.net. He does a pretty good job. Uh, luckily, I know him personally, so I didn't have to tell him what I wanted. He just he knows me. He just gets it. Pablo just gets it. But if you do do it, uh, make sure you fill out the forms as specific as possible. Otherwise, it's not going to be like personal to you. All right, guys. Sam saying yes. Sam saying yes. I have, guys, sorry. I uh, the camera is like my head's getting cut off by the fucking the blue guys up here. Blue guys, what are you doing? Sam saying yes says Winky Face. Cody Moose and Hoos, his code is indeed freedom. Yes, Cody. Yes. PFP slash ELP equals assets. Yes, freedom. Yes. Win Moon. Apparently, Kyle W thinks that Moon soon. I think so too, Kyle. I think so too. String code equals open quotes, freedom, close quotes, semicolon. T Man Scott, Josh, at the top of your head, what are RR? Are there any tech companies to avoid working for other than at Amazon, Amazon? Um, I mean, you don't have to avoid working for Amazon, but well, okay. We can, we can talk about that in one second. Let me, uh, guys, let me go, let me go fix this camera real quick. So like, um, we don't look like we're over here in a, in a kindergartner stream. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Uh, what do you guys want to watch while I go spend 15 seconds to do this? I can't play guys. I can't play the pump it up song anymore. I can't play the pump it up song anymore. They don't like it. I can play crab 17 stage three. You guys want to see crab 17 stage three for a second. All right. I'll be right back guys. I'm going to fix this camera real quick. Pump it. Pump it again. No. 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 Pump the game. What the bloody hell is going on? The shakeout wasn't finished yet. Why haven't we crashed it? Keep up, Jacob. This is all within expected ranges. No. Recommence the dumps. Continue the black swans. Accelerate it. Bounce the dead cat. Pull the rugs. Build back even better. Activate the cyber pandemic. I'm in charge here. But the shadows. Hech, it is not yours to take, Bok. The truth will set us free. It must. All right, guys. Is that better? Can you guys see me now? Is the glare gone? What if I move this thing out of the way? All right, guys. All right. All right, let's try. Okay, let's try this. I think it's fine. Whatever. Look, if you don't like it, you can just you can just fucking leave. All right, uh, Scott. Uh, off the top of my head, are there any tech companies to avoid other than working for other than Amazon? I'm assuming that's what you mean. Um, well, why why wouldn't you want to work for Amazon? I think I think I know why. Uh, look, all of the um. All the Fang companies, they might not be pleasurable places to work at per se, but but the caveat there, 
But I, I mean, dude, if you can get like one year of there on your resume, it's pretty posh, bro. Pretty posh. What, what other places have I heard personally that aren't very like great to work at? Uh, let me think Microsoft. Um, I mean, we both know someone who works at Apple and he doesn't seem to be, he doesn't seem to, he doesn't seem to hate it there. Um, I've heard, I've heard Netflix is bad and I've heard that working as a developer for Uber is really bad, but I mean, I don't really know. I, all I know now, all I know is how I feel and how I feel is like, Working for a large corporation, unless you can do it in a manner to where it's it's how you want it, where you can structure it for yourself, I would avoid it unless insert specific reason here why you want to work for a company like that. So like, for example, you want to work for a big corporation because you need resume cloud. All right. Well, you got to do it anyway to level up, right? Or that is a way to level up or if it's because... You want to just spend a year or two in the trenches to get some extra dough. That's not so bad, but uh, we already know tech. Well, maybe, maybe you don't know this guy, but um, tech basically has one of the highest turnover rates out of any fucking industry, which is insane. I think the average time a developer spends on a job now is like one year. It used to be two. Shit, brothers, back in my day, back in my day, it used to be at least two that, that an, old, an, an old boy used to be able to go out and work for a company, but not anymore. Not anymore. It seems like it's about like one day now. So um, nothing in particular. I really don't have a particular answer for that, Scott, to be quite honest with you. Sam saying yes tells you to come over to us. <laughs> the mass says Josh pulling an MLD with a late appearance. Love it. Yeah, it was not intentional, guys. Apologize. Mass showing up. What is that mask? Yes. Good to see you, dude. <laughs> it's time. It is. Kyle W says... Josh must have gotten the new MacBook Pro ahead of anybody else to trying to set it up. I wish, dude. I wish. I wish. Knowing Josh, he's trying to get the dog to chill. A very excited pup running around like a toddler. Yep. Yep. No, I did walk him into Whole. I did bring him into Whole Foods approximately an hour ago. That was quite the uh, quite the endeavor, fellas. That was that was quite the endeavor, fellas. Don't. Don't you worry. You got to believe me about that. It was quite the endeavor. All right, guys. Look, I'm going to keep this mic. Look, I'm going to keep this mic. Let's see. We're going to do this like, like this. All right. Let me turn the volume up. All right, guys. If if you can't hear me good enough with the way the mic's positioned right now, please complain so I know. Or just say, hey, I can't hear you good enough. Because I'd like to not have to keep this thing in front of my fucking face. I feel like the dog knows when Josh's streams and acts up until the stream starts. Yeah, he knows, dude. When stream, a woman in every pot. I think we, I think we have gassed Josh up too much. Okay, so that was a mind movie. So that's that's something that I listen to to like pump myself up. That's the thing I listen to to give myself like good thoughts, positivity. Instead, of, instead of like, instead of like hearing all this like, um, instead of me going on to four. Maybe I can't even say this word for C H A N and go into the poll section and seeing about, oh my God, it's all over. Everything's really bad. Um, and getting negative thoughts implanted into my head. This would be the opposite of that. This would be this would be me putting positive thoughts in my head. Somebody made that movie for me. But please feel free to guess. Please feel free to continue to contribute to the g -g 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 gas. Looks good. Anyone catch any dips in crypto? My cop was hex at 23, not too shabby. Um, I, I mean, east down a little bit. I, I, I still buy, of course, not me, guys. I always forget to preface this. Is of course, not me because I don't actually buy or own any crypto. I have a video game character in an MMORPG who does these things. But my character um, still buys ETH and, and Bitcoin regularly, although most people would say that's not the best thing to do. But, I mean, I got some ETH when it was, like, at, right at 3700 And, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's about, that's about it, brother. Looks good. Looking good, Josh. Thank you, Patricio. CEO entrepreneur, born in 1964, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Business. Hey, dude, are you like spying on me? 
Did you know I was listening to that song in my car today? What's going on, X City Rolling? You following me, bro? Netflix is a super woke environment. Yeah. And guys, what do we know about things that are woke? What do we know? What do we know? It's boomy. Win IRL dog cast at Whole Foods. Okay. I can answer that. All right, guys. So let me see. Let's see. Let me get let me get nice. Let me get nice down. Nice. Let me get down here all nice and deep like for you guys. All right. So hold on one second. Let me show you guys. I guess while we're at it, since this is the tech show. Since this is the tech show, guys, and I know there's a fucking mic right in front of my fucking face. God. Whose idea was this to get this? Oh, that was yours, Pablo. It's all your fault. <laughs> Shh, just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. Okay. All right. So let's see. How can I, how can I enlarge this to where it's more beneficial for you guys? Okay. So let me go to Apple right here. Unleashed. All right. So by the way, yeah, they did the new... For you guys who do care, they have the new MacBook Pros with the new M1 chips, which is pretty cool. I'm 100% going to be buying one as soon as possible. As soon as I figure out what configuration that I want to get. I know I want the at least the 32 gigabyte, but apparently they have 64 gigabyte. Um, they have a, a 64 gigabyte build. And I think that might... Honestly, that might be too much. To be quite honest with you guys, it might be a little too much. All right. What about if I did that? Hey. Hey, that's better. Oh, that's way better. Um, but Alpha the Nemesis, let's see. Where are the accessories? Okay. So I, I believe in order to do this correctly, we're going to need to use several phones, probably three phones, all right? Three phones. And obviously, the phone with the best camera out there with 4K and 60 frames per second is an iPhone. So we're going to need to use that. So we're going to have to go with the accessories that they have. Unless they're even going to show us what they have at the Apple Store. There is a few things they need to get. So if anyone does know, uh, has any advice about this, please let me know because... Please let me know. All right. Now you guys can see me. should be able to see me much better, guys. Please let me know if you guys have used any of these pieces of equipment before, because I definitely do want to do IRL stream. I know I've told you guys about it six times. All right. This isn't going to load. I will wait. I will wait until this finishes loading. X C Roland says, can you get paid in stock slash coin when working in blockchain? Is that common? Yeah, it is like people ideal when working up for a startup next generation version. Okay. Yes. Um, so XC Roland, a majority, a majority of these Web3 slash blockchain companies, they're actually going to want to pay you in crypto because they're they're honestly guys, they're probably financed all in crypto. Um, their investors are probably all uh, their investors probably gave them crypto. Um. I'm sorry, guys. Distracting myself over here trying to get this thing to fucking work right. But for example, so I can tell you personally that I know several companies that do. Um, however, how it seems, it seems that almost all of them do, right? Um, I personally have interviewed at several Web3 companies specifically for the guys in my group, which again, by the way, congrats to Tom Graff for getting a blockchain developer job at a web three company everybody round of applause to tom tom graf i should ask him if they offered to it but i've uh i've interviewed at some bigger companies if you guys are familiar with maybe i shouldn't maybe i shouldn't say this if you guys are familiar with uh god what's it called truffle but that's not the name that's not the people that i'm thinking about truffle i have interviewed at truffle suites before i don't believe that truffle pays in crypto Canadian company that created CryptoKitties owns the Flow blockchain, has has all the Flow tokens, the Flow token creators, the Flow blockchain creators, um, NBA Top Shots. All right, if I just Google this, hold on, guys. Top Top Shots. Hey, Top Shots. Sorry, who is this? 
I have to do who created crypto? Oops. Who created crypto? Dapper Labs. How did I not fucking know? Um, so Dapper Labs, they actually give you, and keep in mind, guys, these positions pay really good as it is because, again, they're blockchain, they're blockchain engineer positions. Dapper Labs, not only do they pay you good, but they also give compensation in flow tokens. I believe on the on a, on a biweekly basis or whatever we or whatever basis that they pay people with, and they also give equity in the company. So you get like three. If you were to work at like Dapper Labs, you'd be getting three separate, um, three separate kind of like different like sources of income per se, per se. But yeah, that's very common, dude. Uh, I've had this one place. They never even wanted to do a phone interview. They never wanted to do anything else. They just wanted to have like a. Um, they just wanted to have like a basically an instant message interview with their Discord, and they were like, "Hey, do you want to? Would you be willing to accept the payment in USDC?" And I was like, "Sure, why not?" And you can watch the video along with what's Pablo's URL. Alex Cantazos says it's F U T U. Here, I'll put it in the chat, Alex. Put it in the chat for you, my friend. There you go your NFT avatar. What's up, Killers? What's up, Antonio? Good to see you in the house, my friend. Good to see you in the hoose. Know Your Worth says, yo, shadowy supercoders. What's up, Know Your Worth? Good to see you, ma'am. My Axie Infinity Scholar, Scholar's Monitor bot is in beta testing. Uh, I had no idea that you were working on that, Patricio. I had no idea, my friend. W Wab3. Clap. Congratulations. Congratulations to Tom. <laughs> yes, it was Dapper Labs. Thanks for reminding me. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, guys. Congrats to Tom on his freedom. Yes. Now he won't be pressured to get jab from. Yes. Sorry, guys. I muted myself by unplugging. The plug out of this mic. All right, guys. I, I really should, guys. I really should. Uh, man, I really should get these streams set up before I actually start streaming. Guys, I've been. It's been a fucking hectic. It's been a hectic year. It's been a hectic month. It's been a hectic week, weekend, day. All right, guys. So I know I'm making excuses here, but getting these live streams is like uh, I have very little time to be prepared for them prior to. So I guess I hope you guys. Do, do indeed forgive me. Good insight. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. You know it. Mike, switch the laptop. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. It did. How about that? Can you guys hear? Can you guys hear? Can you say the ASMR now? Hmm? Better? Yes. You need a producer? Yep. I have one. He needs to get his ass over here. I'm going to kill you, Kyle. Voice is getting lots of reverb. It's probably because it's actually one because I'm close to it, and two because there's a wall right here. And if you guys want to see, I wish I could move that camera. If you guys want to see, actually, I can do this. You know what? Maybe I can switch the camera to the laptop camera real quick. All right, you guys want to see? Check this out. All right, so if you want, to, if you guys see on the ceiling, I have an unfinished, I have an unfinished set of these, uh, <laughs> of these guys right here. So you see how two of these are missing on this side right here. Uh, I actually bought them an even amount and they came pancake. Like they were, they were so squished that they were the thickness of paper. So I was like, I'm not even going to fucking put that on there. Like, what's the point of that? What, what the hell? Josh says, Matt W Matt, Matt. It's all good, dude. Just glad you're here. I'm just glad you guys are here. I'm glad you guys are here too. Coming through clear. Perfect. Sound way better. Where's the double ear mic? Double ear mic. Um, the hell is double ear mic? I don't know what that is. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean, fam. I don't know what you mean, fam. <laughs> Super coder ASMR. Yep. Late, but I'm here. I do not hear reverb. I think we're. I think I was switched over to the previous to the laptop mic on accident for a second. Craig, uh, this got unplugged. 
Why do you have egg cartons in your ceiling? You okay? Because it's egg acoustical, egg acoustical. Get it? Because the acoustics, it 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 prevents the vibration, reverb, echo, X Y Z from the sound. LMAO, the ASMR double ear mic. Never seen one. Oh, okay. You mean so? What you mean, guys? What you mean is when those girls on Twitch they get those two different mics and they're like, is that what you mean? But why do you need so? Okay, so um, the way that they had the system set up, I guess, because one mic is supposed to go to a left ear and one mic is supposed to go to a right ear. Is that correct? No, guys, I don't have that. Yeah, you ever seen it? Okay, yeah. No, I have. I have. Uh, someone showed me one not so long ago, and I was like, dude, why the fuck did you show me that? Please don't ever do that again. 3 do mic. By Neural. Eight cartons are actually good for reducing reverb. I have heard that. That's why, excuse me, I came up with the term egg acoustical. Exactly. Okay, fellas. Let us get into the topic tonight. Topic for tonight, crypto kitties. Just kidding. Although that wouldn't be that wouldn't be a bad topic, I guess. So, fellas, as you guys could see, as you guys could see from the title, code is freedom. Correct? Now, what do you guys think I mean by that? What do I mean by code is freedom? Kind of arbitrary thing to say, right? I mean, I could say like, I could say if I wanted to, uh, I could say highball, highball energy is freedom, right? I could say uh, MacBook is freedom. I could say red glasses is freedom. I could say red composition notebook is freedom, right? Um, which I guess, in all in, in all honesty, this would probably be this would probably be more freedom than any of the other aforementioned things. But what do I mean by code is freedom? So uh, right now, guys, I am streaming to you guys through a plethora of different computers, doing all kinds of different things through a camera and a microphone. You guys can hear and see me, all right? And it's all traveling through some cables underneath the ground, or whatever way that they're presented and sending electric pulses to you guys, right? To the rest of the world to hear. Yes, a lot of that is hardware, but a, more, a majority of that couldn't be accomplished without the code that is driving that hardware. And also, guys, a lot of hardware has things called firmware, but we won't get into that anyway tonight. So I have the freedom right now to do something that humans wouldn't be able to do even like, I don't know, 20 years ago, right? And it's crazy. I mean, we had the internet 20 years ago, but we didn't have, uh, we didn't have, we didn't have quality internet, high speed internet. And, and by the way, this is some internet I have right now. It's been very shoddy lately. And I can still do this and talk to you guys, right? And that's just the internet, right? let alone all the other things that you can do with code. But I have the freedom to talk to you guys, right? All across the world. And that's pretty darn cool in itself. But what about things that are kind of tangible? For the first time in human history, uh, as a software engineer, we kind of basically given humans the ability to design and engineer things with really without any raw materials. Now, yes, obviously you need a fucking computer, right? You need a computer, but you can go get a Raspberry Pi for $45. You can go get a used computer. You can go to the library and use computer. You can use a, a public computer. You can use a friend's computer. You can use a hotel lobby's computer. Although most people have a computer, right? Most people have a computer or they go to school, they have a computer. To write code, a software engineer is the only is the only engineer on the planet that doesn't require natural resources other than the computer, 
right? And the computer, that's subjective. I mean, I mean, you, that, yes, you do need a computer, right? And I know some of you fuckers are like, I need internet too. No, you don't. You don't. You don't need internet to code. Do you need internet to help you answer questions for code? Probably so. Do you need the internet to deploy code that's on a server somewhere? Yeah, but I mean, you could you could have your computer. You could just write some Python scripts, just do some automated tasks for you without the internet, right? And thus, basically, being able to code gives us all, the ones who can't code, and people who want to learn how to code, the ability to freely produce things without having people tell them they can't. So... It's very, I, I don't have, we have to get Andrew from Legal Mindset here. Andrew Esquire from Legal Mindset here to answer this question. But uh, it's pretty hard to make code illegal, guys. Especially once it's kind of already out in circulation. So, I mean, you can make like, you can make the use of code illegal, but code itself, it's just, it's just, Really, it's just a bunch of characters in a file somewhere. It's not, it's not, um, it doesn't have an agenda per se. Code doesn't have an agenda other than, other than to execute out its purpose, which is to run and to do the, handle the logic that is inside of it, right? But it's not opinionated. It's not biased, right? Could go on and on about how code has one one simple attribute to make it really really cool but i think you guys get the point right we have the freedom and the ability to build things with very little right i don't need to go to the government and say hey can you guys give me a permit to build this whatever all right i know so i wasn't gonna give any more examples but there you go what else what else makes it free what else makes code free let's just say you're a good developer a majority of people, they can't just pack up their life belongings and move across the world really without a plan where if you can code, you can do that. In fact, you're, if you're coding, if you're a developer, you're a software engineer or whatever, you're probably not working in an office. You probably haven't been even before the COOF. In actuality, you can just go wherever you want. Let's just say you don't, let's just say the, the current people employing you don't want you to leave your physical location for whatever reason. All right, that's fine. You can leave and you can go get a job literally anywhere else in the world because everyone needs people to write code. Now, why does everyone need people to write code? Put a one in the chat if you've ever worked at a job that didn't, in one way, shape, or form, require a computer. And even if you're a construction worker, I know the answer is yes. There should be no ones. Anybody do a job didn't require a computer, has never required a computer in the last two decades. All right, if we're going back in like the 19, 1980s, all right, whatever. Cody Moose, shut up, Cody. Cody, don't you fucking lie. All right. I'll, all right. All right. Matt. All right, guys. I just, I'll, I'll quit, guys. I'm, I'm quitting. I'm getting out of here. What, what were the jobs? Let me know. Let me know. Painting and roofing. Okay, Matt. Matt, 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 Matt. Okay, but hold up. I'm going to prove all you guys wrong. I'm going to prove all you guys wrong. All right. Okay. Mask was understood. Okay. All right, Cody. Cody Moose, you first. You first, buddy. You first, buddy. What job did you use? What job did you use that didn't require a computer? <laughs> Last 20 years, Sam. No computer need to shoot mortars in the, in the army. Okay. Did you ever have to use computer for anything ever when you were enlisted in the army? Did you ever have to maybe enroll in something or enter in payment information for your checks or enter in any kind of information? I know the answer is yes. So therefore, 
Get out, Cody. Get. All right, Matt, Penny Roofing. Um, so, Matt, so you mean to tell me, Matt, that your business is 100% analog. You don't receive payments online. You don't do your taxes online. You don't do anything that has to do with the business online at all. The answer is no. The answer is no, is it? I don't know. Gerard, even delivering pizzas needs computer now. Yeah, well, I mean, we haven't made we haven't mentioned IoT coding necessities, the Internet of Things. Yeah. Bring it on says letting people code really backfired on the E dash leads. Yeah, the internet did too. It ended giving oneself more freedom to build than ever before. Yes. If you ain't coding, you're eroding. Sam saying yes. Yes, Sam. Yes. Agreed. I agree. Egregiously. God, these lights are bright. I need these back on, guys. You use a laptop for like what price? Usually one good enough to code. A used laptop for like what price? I mean, dude, you can literally get a Raspberry Pi for 45 bucks and put whatever flavor of Linux on it and it's good enough to code. Promise you, I got one. I got one, homie. I got one. Although she might not want to use that. Electricity and internet. Electricity and computers and internet have become ubiquitous as it is. Yep. The internet thing. So yeah. All right. So let me get back to these guys. All right. So let's see. Um, <laughs> a grave digger. All right. But did you have to enter in the time worked somewhere? Or was it all under the table? All right, guys, if you're talking about under the table stuff, then it's not, then it's, then, then guys, I think the IRS is under the chat. And obviously you guys are just joking, right? It's not a real job. Painting, landscaping. Yeah. But how are they receiving the payment? If it's cash, well, then it's not, that's not a real job. Right. I mean, it's a real job in a video game, but obviously if the IRS is entered, if the IRS was entered in the chat, of course, everyone would say they would definitely not be taking money under the table, right? No. Need? No. To make easier? Yes. I got paid to be a sparring partner. It was all paper in the day, in my day. Cody, you're like younger than me. Army payroll. Yeah, I'm sure you guys did your payroll online, right? through internet, through some, some even intranet. Although I'm self-employed now and fuck t sheets. <laughs> Guys, stop. Referral only gigolo. Delivering pet food for crazy cat ladies by the case, but the supply chain still needed a computer. Um, and yeah, I guess I think like, what is the, what is the, I think Uber, you can get like Uber, Uber goods or whatever. Um, I mean, it's an app, right? Yes, up and on, up, up and Adam. I would say smartphones count as a computer to an extent. I right, hold on, let me get the voice right for you, Sam. <clears throat> Actually, hold on, guys. Let me, let me get a sip of this. Let's do this extra good. All right. If you ain't delivering pizzas, you're going to be in debt for the rest of your life. All right. So I need you guys to deliver at least. 15 pizzas a day. T sheets and company emails. You're right, Josh. And my iPhone is indispensable now. Yeah. I played around with Python and Raspberry Pi. It can be done. Kyle, you have a Raspberry Pi? I didn't know that. Literally, everything was written on paper and taken approximately appro taken to approximate S shops. It was the ultimate boomer setup. No way. No way. I attached the camera to a Raspberry Pi once and to three frames per second on it. <laughs> I have a banana pie, actually, guys. I lied to you guys. I don't have I don't have a Raspberry Pi. I have a banana pie. I bought it when I was in college and it was the cheaper alternative to the Raspberry Pi. I know that sounds dumb because the Raspberry Pi is cheap, but I was a broke college student, right, guys? So I needed the cheaper version of the cheap thing. Okay. Steven says. I focus on React. Any good tips for landing a job? Um, that would be hard for me to tell you an answer because it's kind of like a homework assignment and I would need to know some more information about you. So I'm just going to assume that you know how to code like other stuff. I'm assuming maybe you have like... Let's make an assumption that like you... 
you know to code and you're just focusing on React right now, maybe. Maybe this is your first job. Well, let's just make that assumption. Maybe this is your first job. Um, what you need to do is you need to be building as much projects as you possibly can and making them clean, putting them on your GitHub repository. And inside of your resume, you need to have a link to your GitHub inside your resume. These places are going to ask you for your GitHub anyway. So you may as you may as well you may as well give it to them before they ask. In fact, they're going to think they're going to think more highly of you if you do do that. And then you know, once that's the case, um, you might start landing some some you might start getting some fish on the hook. After that, would be a completely different story. Could it move by Peter Schiff's Boomer Mindset 2021 course? Let's do it. Let's do it. Every quarter is the same. The Boomer Mindset. Yep, only video game characters do that. I dig graves for amusement, subsequent necessity. Max Signitas says, I hear coding will be especially important once they pass that new Ligma bill. Yes. But not as important as when they pass the Sugma bill prior to that, though. You underestimate the slowness of the, the, the DOD. I'm sure things now are all done on computers, though. Well, I may have worked for a three-letter organization before, so I definitely don't underestimate the slowness. In fact, I'm willing to bet, Cody... Let me get down here so you can see me. You can see the truth in my eyes. I'm willing to, I'm willing to bet that my three-letter agency was a lot slower than your three-letter three agency. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a guy with guavas. Six-month coding boot camp. Um, no back-end and front-end. Back end and front end of what? You mean you know what back end, you know what a, the concept of a back end and a front end is? Um, awesome, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I would just same advice, man. Like, like it. So the thing is, Steve, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, so I don't want to pronounce it wrong. The thing is, they don't care if you have an undergraduate degree. They don't care if you have a master's degree. They don't care if you have ten different boot camp certificate degrees. What they care about is if you can code and if you can prove that you can code. And if you can prove to them that you can code, you could literally be an iguana and they would give you a job. Every major business, every major business needs to be online. Yes, every major business does need to be online. They need an online presence in order to stay relevant in 2021. Which guys, you know what? Oh, you guys just leading me into you guys. So you guys, look, you're leading me in to plug myself again. Hold on. If my internet will ever start fucking loading. <sighs> my phone, two separate internet service providers on my phone. So if you count the internet here, that's three, have all just been like not working since quite some time. It's almost like nobody's working their jobs anymore, guys. It's kind of crazy. But if you guys want to, guys want go ahead and check this website out guys it should be route with https guavalabs.io if you do have a business and you don't have an internet presence you don't have a website you don't have nothing those guys please check your internet connection am i gone what the fuck Hey, am I still live? Pablo, am I still live? What? Am I still live? I just tried to post in the chat. It says, please check your internet connection. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, what the? What the? What, what in the? Jump into host fix. Oh, yep. Now it's start working. All right. You know why, guys? Because, hey, what, five, five seconds the internet's working and then the other five seconds, is, it's, it's, it's gone. Hey, welcome to the world where nobody is working anymore. It's great out there. It's great over here. All right, guys, check this out. Guava Labs IO. This is what little startup we got going on. We just started. We just started the startup, guys. This is a great website. You got to admit. Kudos to Pablo and Aurelian, who thank you, Kyle, who did the building for this website. It's beautiful, guys. Let me refresh again. You can guys can see these little guavas, little guava plants, uh, moving. I believe that was. I believe that was all done in CSS. I don't. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it until I saw it. No JavaScript required for these guys to move. Look at that, guys. Look at that. My hands are in the air. I'm not moving it. Look at that. That's great. 
Fix bugs, maximize your user experience. Guava Labs transforms your website to perfection infinitely right now. Then helps market your website optimally. Problems we solve. We make websites great again, guys. We do. It's extremely difficult for people to create bug-free, visually appealing, and simplistic websites without making significant trade-offs. Our backbone, you guys can go read the rest of this there. I did just want to show that because I'm very proud of that website. I'm very fucking proud of that website. Um, it's very artesian, a very artesian website. Kind of looks a little bit like a Web3, Web3. It's got some Web3 protocols. And you got, but also, guys, speaking of Web3, hold on, guys. Hold on. I show one more. I'm going to show one more. <sighs> this one's so hard. But anyway, let me catch up the comments. Sorry, guys. Um, you tried? Try what? What? The, uh, you tried the uh, the the Sigma and the Ligma. She, I've got the ultimate slow two letter agency. Unless you got D, unless you got the DMV. No, it wasn't the DMV. Then you win. No, it wasn't the DMV. All jobs really just care if you can do the job or not. You can lie on your resume and on the first day prove you're competent and you're then you're golden. Yeah, except for things that legally require you to have some kind of like piece of paper, like a lawyer. I mean, obviously you need to be, you need to pass the bar exam to do that, to practice law legally. But other than that, I'm like a doctor. Like I'm sure you, they don't want you performing brain surgery, but yeah. All about experience, which proves you can do it. Sam saying, yes, Guava, you're live. You're still live. Yeah, guys, I don't know what happened. Maybe all telecom people are no longer working in their companies. T-Man Scott says, a recruiter today was surprised I had a GitHub on my resume. He said he only sees that when talking to pinch nose voice software engineers. Be like, that's right, motherfucker. I am one. What's it to you, bub? What's it to you, bud? I am one of those. I am one of those things, guy. I am one of those guys, guy. I am that guy. So you should have told him. As you should have told him, Scott. You need a software product if you need a software project done but don't know how to code, let Guava Labs handle the variables, functions, database for you to get your application from idea to reality. Call Sam saying yes today. Yes. Don't skip a beat. Be on your feet. Holy shit, that's lit. You like the website? Me too, dude. I'm super proud. I'm super... I'm so fucking proud of the website right now. But not just right now. Infinitely as well. HTML5 and CSS3 made a lot of JS animations back in the day. Obsolete. Uh, yeah, dude. I don't know. I've never done any like I've never done any of the any of that new. See, I've never touched any CSS three to be honest with you. To be honest with you, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a template guy. I like having things done for me already. Sorry, me. IRS? Did they enter the chat? It wasn't the IRS that I worked for. It was not the IRS, or was it? <laughs> like. 90% of you people are fucked if it was. <laughs> Everyone knows they need collagen, but few collagen supplements are bioavailable. Now, let's talk about the... You are not my guy, buddy. I wish I was your buddy guy. Um, all right, guys, so back to... Okay, it finally loaded. All right, so sorry. We'll get back to the conversation in one second, guys. I just want to show you guys one more awesome website. I did not make this website. Our team did not make this website, but... I mean, Jesus Christ, look at this fucking website, curve.fi. I mean, first of all, let's all just let's all just forget about let's just pretend we're gonna forget about what curve does. All right, let's just pretend we don't even know what the fuck this is. And let's just look at the website. Now look at this, guys. Now, obviously, you know, if you see like if you see like Bitcoin symbols and you know USDC symbols. Uh, you know that this is most likely in current year. This is not a 1995's website, but don't you guys appreciate how they have the 1995's aesthetic? But, and, but you guys look at that. The floating div over the background with the shadow. With the sh I mean, this is just... I love this website. I've, I love this website so fucking much. I want, I want to make... In fact, I might make a new website... Make a personal website. Looks. I'm just going to steal their template and just do it. Sorry, Ren. Sorry, Curve. Not Ren. Curve. Curve. Um, 
sorry, Curve. I'm going to be stealing your uh, your um, your template for your website. It's open source. Notes on your GitHub. I already saw it. It's too late. Can't take that back now. All right. So back to the discussion. That's why code is equal to freedom, guys. Not only do you, if you have the ability to code, not only do you have the ability to just create things out of essentially thin air and electricity, you have the ability to go anywhere. You have the ability to be a productive individual anywhere in the world where people are always going to need you. Okay. Now, I know we had like the insert, like specific nuanced job that said that they didn't have a computer here. Um, but then when I questioned you guys, some of you guys actually did end up using a computer at that job so, or in, in one way, shape, or form. So, all right. But pretty much every job, everything everywhere requires a computer. All right, guys? Let's just be honest with ourselves. And what does a computer require to run? Software. Okay. So if everyone needs a computer and every computer needs software... Pretty safe to say that if you know how to create that said software, you're going to be posh no matter where you go. You're always going to be needed. You're always your your skills are always going to inherently have value, no matter where you go. It's like a Rolex. If you get lost at sea and somehow you land up on a, end up on a life raft in some South American country, you're not even quite sure where you're at yet. You just maybe you're on the shores of Brazil. Maybe you can't speak any, any English or any Portuguese. Excuse me, any Portuguese. My ex-girlfriend would slap me for not knowing the name of the language of that country. Um, you could walk to any pawn shop and you could just sell that fucking Rolex for whatever paper currency they have. It's got value anywhere, right? Just like gold, just like the boomer coin. Being able to code equates to freedom, Okay. Josh equals boilerplate Benny. <laughs> I used to be good at HTML. That was in 20, 2003. Windows 95. It does look like... Know your worth. It does look like Windows 95, doesn't it? Let's check it out again. I mean, it looks awesome, dude. I fucking love it. I love that so much. I don't know about you guys. Appliance guys, a sweet web page. Which one? Appliance guy? They're both sweet. They were both sweet, were they not? Ah, nostalgia. Ah. PHP BB2. Looks like early 90s, 2000s web, website. Yes. Need Windows hot dog stand theme for MetaMask? Windows hot dog stand theme. Hold on a second. Why does that sound so familiar? Windows hot hot dog stand theme. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is the greatest theme I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> Hearing grunge in the background while looking at curve site. Yes. It's simple retro, right? But it, it, like so it's like it's like modern retro. So that's so that's the look. Um that's kind of the look we kind of we kind of went for for guava. We kind of went for like modern retro with some pop, with some pop to it. Let's look at it one more time. I know you guys want to see it so bad. I want to look at it too. It's a great looking website. God, look at that. Whew. And hey, if you scroll down here, get the roots, our values. You guys, now you guys all have Sam's phone number. At the bottom of the page, feel free to call him. Feel free. One call is all. Call JG Samworth 877 Cash now. So I don't think we have any rebuttals against code being equal to freedom. If you don't agree, well, I'm sorry. We should change your mind. But you're wrong. What else can code give you as far as like being free? 
Well, you have the ability to be, you have the freedom to be creative. That's not like a freedom from some specific form of tyranny per se, but it is a nice thing to be able to do if you are a creative person. There's a million different ways to skin a cat when you do something with code. And that's kind of a nice attribute to have for something that is a craft or a job or anything of this, anything of the like. That really wasn't a big one, but I wanted to mention anyway. I think it's it's funny because like when you when you write code, guys, um, there's either there's like there's either two different kind of people who are who are engineers who are software engineers. There's the kind of people that are. Here we go. Now I'm now I'm away. Now I'm out of the. Can you guys still hear me? I'm out of the way of the the, the blue developer direction block. I don't have to move that on the other side. There's two types of people that usually end up doing code: left brain people or right brain people. What they come to find is that they end up having to do. They end up having to challenge the opposite side of their brain that they're good at. I'm a left brain person. I'm not creative at all, and. When it comes to having to be creative to find ways to make solutions to things or way things, make ways to make things look good, that becomes challenging to me. And I learn, I have learned over time to get better at that. Whereas before, I literally couldn't even draw a stick figure person. I've, in fact, I still can't draw a stick figure person, but if I need to make a stick figure person in a photo editing software, I can do that now because I've had to level up that part of my brain. And the same thing goes for the inverse. The same thing goes for the inverse, which is pretty cool. All right, fellas. I think I got the point across in 57 minutes about how code is freedom. I don't think I feel like guys, I feel like I didn't explain much to you guys. I, I apologize. I apologize, guys. I do apologize. You know, guys, I was going to do a Meta Monday and ask me anything. But I was like, mm, someone out there needs to know. Someone out there needs to know that there is something that they can do if they don't don't want to. If they don't like the current place that, that they're in in the world. There is, a, there is, there does indeed exist one skill. One man, one skill, one summer. One computer this summer. Alex Contazos is super coder. I just picked your name, Alex. I saw it. Now your word says Richard Hart says blockchain is freedom of speech. Thoughts, Josh. Um, maybe I shouldn't say my thoughts because I think some people will get upset about it. That's true, but only for one blockchain, in my opinion. Uh, it, it is a, at least let me rephrase that. Look okay, guys. Don't freak the fuck out. All right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Everyone's freaking out. That is a hundred percent true for one blockchain. It is not full hundred percent true for other blockchains. Does that mean that the other blockchains, it won't be hundred percent true in the future? Never mind. I'm not going to say it. I can't say it. Don't say it, Josh. Don't do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wonder what he means by that. Does he mean that the fact that a blockchain exists, that it provides you freedom of speech? Or do you think that he means that when he says that the blockchain itself is freedom of speech? Because it's a blockchain. Um, because there's centralized blockchains. There's also federated blockchains and there's private blockchains. So like um, some of those, and then there's public blockchains. There's public and anonymous blockchains. There's all kinds of different types of blockchains. Um, sorry, guys. I'm a little sneezely. Hold on. Me, let me mute for a second. All right, that's better. Uh, just because you're using blockchain tech doesn't necessarily mean it's freedom of speech. So let's just say, for example, here, let's just say, for example, here, um, let's say, for example, we have a 
a, I don't know, an entity called, uh, let's just call him the Schmetterl Schmerve, right? The Schmetterl Schmerve. And they have a currency called the United Schmates Schmaller. And instead of, and it's paper currency, right? It's, that it's not really paper anymore in 2021. It's pretty much mostly digital now. Uh, there's not even enough paper uh, sh 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 United Schmates Schmallers to actually keep up with the amount of uh, digital United Schmates Schmallers on the um, in the balance sheet of a lot of these banks because of reverse repo market and or also fractional reserve schmanking. But hey, we're just talking about some kind of fictional video game, right? We're not definitely not talking about the real world. We're definitely not talking about our financial institution. And they and they make up and then say, oh, we're going to fix all this problem. We're going to have this giant, giantus reseticus, the greaticus reseticus, and then we're going to everyone's going to have. We're all just going to use this this central schmank digital currency, um, and they use a blockchain for their central bank digital currency. Except that blockchain literally gives them abil the ability to see every sequence of data since the history of its inception. I would say that's kind of the opposite of freedom of speech, right? That's kind of like them. If you would consider your purchase of something to be an expression of your, of your speech um, and freedom of that said speech would be your privacy to, to have that purchase, then that would be the opposite of freedom of speech. So it all depends on what blockchain sire Richard, Richard, Richard is hard was speaking about, I am a right brain person. Very creative ideas randomly come out of my head. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, brain. <laughs> gotcha. Is it for Monero? No. No. Nope. How many nodes? How many nodes? How many nodes does Monero have, guys? Let's find out. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see, Monero. M O N. No, I don't want to. Add. No, Siri. M O N E R O. Uh, code map. All right, let's see. Oh, they have more than I expected. Yes, guys. We'd like to see how many how many nodes Monero has. Let's find out how decentralized Monero really really is a beta. All right, so let's let's look here. So we got uh oh wow guys, why is um that's weird. Why does the map look like that? Why does the map look like it's just one giant repeating global map over and over again? Huh. Very strange. All right, so there's definitely some Monero nodes in Iran. Why are you what are you doing, computer? Stop. Just just stop it. Who's got the Monero node in New Orleans? Hey! Hey, who this be? Let's find out. Shit, dog. You on the West Bank? Shit! No way. There's a Monero node in the Samuel Square Playground Park. What the fuck is this? I don't believe this. What the hell is this? <laughs> All right, guys. This is one where my, my, right where my old house was. Off of Orleans Avenue. No fucking way. At Easton Park? Why are these nodes showing up at parks? This, I don't know. Now I'm kind of sketched out, guys. <sighs> this is, you guys know where this park is? I can show you guys this park. This, this is like a, this is like a, a makeshift sandlot base, base, basketball park, baseball park. EA, CON Park, New Orleans, Orleans Mid City. You guys want to see where this is? Can you still see? If I so if I move this tab over here, can you guys see that? No, you guys can't see that. I'll have to share my I would have to share my entire screen. Oh, you guys can see that, can you? All right. Let's look for the images of Eden Park. Eden Park. This is indeed it. If I guys if I show you guys this park, you guys are gonna know there's probably not a Monero node running there, although I don't know. 
Yeah, this is it. This is that part. This is that part. I don't see any Monero. I don't know if there's any Monero in there. It's really, really running in here. All right. So I don't know. Maybe this, maybe this map is a little, a little suspect. Updated an hour ago. Total nodes. I don't know, guys. That's really weird. Um, actually, you know what? It could be, it could be because the IP, uh, yeah, GPS is off a bit. It could just be that the IP is like putting it to the closest place it can for whatever like map. This might be Google Maps. Jack's Mississippi. All right, so 2,440. Back to the point, sorry. That for Monero, 2,440 uh, nodes. That's quite a bit. I did not even know that Monero had that many nodes. Holy smokes. It's pretty good. That's a pretty good bit of nodes. Um, Looks like we're definitely lacking some nodes in, in Africa. Um, they pretty much have nodes in almost every single, almost every single geographical location. Do we still have nodes in China? Looks like they do. Looks like they still have some narrow nodes in China. Hmm. I thought the Chinese government banned all cryptocurrency. You don't say. You don't say. I would consider this to be pretty like I would consider this blockchain to be pretty like if this is all that I know, if this is if this is what you're taking a look at, all that you know, um just from like from a start, that's that's not bad. Like that's that's quite a bit of fucking nodes are spread out everywhere. Like, do you guys so would you guys think that like every single country of these countries would agree together in unison? Like, hey, let's all go take out those Monero nodes. I'm probably gonna be flagged for just talking about fucking Monero on YouTube, but I mean, uh, so we got, we, we don't have a lot in China, but it looks like there still is some in China, right? Um, I don't think that the U S government and China get along very well, except for maybe that ice cream guy. I think that ice cream guy gets along just well with China, but all the other politicians, they, they might, it might be hard for them to come to agreement on that. Right. Um, on anything, let alone to, to even get to the point where they're talking about having an agreement to shut down specific nodes of a specific cryptocurrency, which, by the way, there's there's just they, there's too many different cryptocurrencies that they just. back um i don't really know let's see let's see what else so a majority of obviously right here of these nodes majority of them look like they're in the u.s right 837 in total second largest germany it's the same with ethereum the majority of nodes of ethereum are in the united states and the second largest are in germany apparently netherlands uk france canada russia finland china has 47 still this was updated an hour ago, so apparently this is true. Sweden, Czechia, Poland, Spain, Japan, South Korea, Austria, Brazil, Iceland, Belgium. I mean, I mean, you think surely more than 13 people would be in Brazil would do that. Ukraine, 11, Taiwan. I mean, this is a lot of, yeah. Uh, so the, th the thing is, though, guys, all right, so the problem with something like that, like... If UK and Germany, if the US and Germany were like shut it down, I mean, shoot, that's like over seventy percent. That would be that would be a slow ass blockchain if all the other stuff was shut down. But I'm sure that would I'm sure that would get moved around. Um, for freedom of speech, when I said there's only one blockchain that's hundred percent that can enable one hundred percent freedom of speech, freedom of speech. Um, In my opinion, it's this one, but I mean, I guess I can be biased. The reason for that is because it's literally the, it literally is the most decentralized. It's the largest. If you think that it would be hard for them to shut Monero down, imagine how hard it would be for them to shut the Bitcoin blockchain down. But I mean, Monero, Monero looks pretty safe. Monero looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Earth is flat confirmed. Don't say that, dude. You're going to get me kicked off of the YouTubes, bro. Jerome Schmal. Try Atlanta. You want me to look in Atlanta? Were there were there suspicious 
Monero nodes in Atlanta. Let's see. Let's see. She it. She a dog. Looks like there was there is some in the ATL. She it. Savannah too. Savannah too. She it. She it. So we got quite a few in Miami as well. We got a few few nodes here in Miami. Wonder why. It's probably through a VPN. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Someone probably has a node on the phone or something. Doubt it. Who knows? Unless someone has a Raspberry Pi to stash somewhere. But where would he get power from, Cody? I don't know. Where do you power? New Orleans doesn't really exist. There's, that's a conspiracy theory. It was just wiped away in a hurricane last month. Right? Right, guys? Right? Wasn't it wiped away in a hurricane not so long ago? Uh, perhaps GPS is off a bit. Yeah. That tends to be off. That looks like the hood. Yeah, homie. That was the hood. Monero hood. Looks like Monero Dash could be the next dating app. Just join. What did you miss? Nothing important, my dude. We're just going over some fuckery right now. Monero nodes with king, Monero nodes with kings and shit. Cody, there was a flat earth dating app now. Is a flat earth dating app now? Mini solar panel? Sign me up, Matt. Um, if you guys know El Salvador is running a lightning network node through a volcano. <laughs> is a volcano powered lightning network node? I think that's 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 cool, dude. That's cool. Why can't we do more of that? Shane Minger says, Can you get enough power through solar? Yeah, yeah. Should be able to. Um for Bitcoin, I don't know. If you want to run a node in Bitcoin, to run a node, yes. To, to mine, no. To run a node, yes. To mine, no. If you're going to run a node, you need to run it at least for six hours a day. Uh, they would prefer that you people would it would be it would be considered to be impolite to not run the node for at least six hours a day. So, like, if anyone ever does want to run a node, I would get like a dedicated computer, literally like a Raspberry Pi, because you could do it with a Raspberry Pi, like that, and just like let it sit and run. And that's it. But don't do that. Don't ever run nodes. They're bad. They're awful. Um, why contribute to the freedom of humanity? Don't ever do that, guys. Awful, awful. Shame. That's, oof, that's bad speak. Someone should shoot nodes into or orbit and on the moon uh, for the solar energy. I think that I think that Tesla has, uh, or excuse me, Starlink has some uh, has a Bitcoin node running. I think it's a Bitcoin node running. Um, on one of the Starlink satellites. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I believe I do believe that to be the case. Yes, you need to think about 15k of solar panels, though. Another 15k of battery storage. Is that for the uh, the Tesla um, little Tesla kit? But my liquidity pools. Listen, doesn't mean doesn't mean guys. I'm guys. I'm not saying I'm not. Not saying there can't be DeFi on these other networks. Like they're, they're they, obviously they can, they can, they they work, right? They work. But I mean, there is a layer three of Bitcoin that is being built on, built on a lot right now. Lots of development going on. If you look at the code in GitHub, a fuck ton of development going on, but no one's moved over there yet. So I mean, you guys could keep in mind that that could be something that could be important coming in the future and maybe that could be a monetization opportunity for some of you guys out there yes the tesla battery yeah it's pretty cool dude i've seen it it's pretty epic should i get one of those batteries guys should i get one of those guys i have a confession to make guys Need to announce my sins on stream. I'm just kidding. But I do love you guys. I tricked you guys into thinking that I wasn't going to end the episode. But I am. I love you guys. If you haven't subscribed and you're liking the content, I know this was a uh, another sporadic stream. Please subscribe. You don't need to like the video. I really don't give a shit if you like the video. But guys, um, I do actually have a confession for you guys. All right, I do actually have a confession for you guys. Listen to me, okay? It's been hard to come up with random ideas of what to talk about. 
I really just enjoyed talking to you guys and you guys talking to me and interacting back and forth. I like asking you guys questions and you guys asking me questions. Um, but I really don't want to do the whole thing where like, you know, where they have a, a more timely type of like episode. It's like, Kim Kardashian said this today and this happened on the news. Watch TMZ for her reaction. One simple trick. I want to be able to have timeless content for you guys. And I always want to be able to interact with you guys too. But I, unless I go and sit and like read Stacker News or Hacker News or something, uh, it, it's kind of hard, guys. It's kind of hard to just think of random things. But it's easy for me to talk to you guys. It's easy for me to talk to you guys. Um, so if you guys do have any ideas of things you want me to talk about during a live stream, leave a comment in the video below. I'm talking about just a live stream, not like scripted videos, because I have some ideas for that, and I will be doing that very, very soon. But alas, guys, I'm going to can it here because I'm very hungry. I want to go eat those mangoes, the dried mangoes that are sitting over there. So I love you guys, and I am out. Later, Gators.